Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Brush Pile Fishing. It's October, we're on my home lake, Grand Lake St. Mary's, and we're gonna do some heavy metal fishing. Stay tuned and we'll talk about what that is. We'll be right back. Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Brush Pile Fishing. Today we're in my comfort zone. We're actually on my home lake, Grand Lake St. Mary's here in Ohio. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do some heavy metal fishing. And what that means, we're gonna fish over aluminum boat lifts. You know, this is one of my favorite ways to fish. We're gonna be taking my 10 foot pole and we're actually gonna be making long flips and working the jig super, super slow along that aluminum. It's a great way to fish. I sure enjoy it, so you stay tuned. Pulling up to our first aluminum lift of the afternoon. And a lot of these, if they don't have a boat, you gotta be careful because there's a lot of carpet underneath these and you can lose a lot of jigs that way. So just kind of knowing the difference between a bite and when you're actually stuck on a carpet. And what I wanna do when I pull up to a lift I'm gonna hit those outside edges first and try to pick off any fish that might be on the outside. And the reason I do that, if I start out fishing right on the inside and I catch a few big fish and they're splashing and carrying on and going crazy, well, what's gonna happen, it's gonna to scatter to the rest of those fish. Now they'll come back, but if I pick them off from the outside edges first and then work my way in, it's kind of a system and those fish will stay there a little bit longer. There we go. Oh, shoot. That's a nice crappie, folks. That is a nice crappie. And there you see, I talked about, Lordy, hold still. I talked about changing your patterns up. I had made probably 20 flips on there at least. That is a dandy fish. I don't know if the cameraman can see. This is a black crappie, beautiful specs. And these things are gonna be fattening up for the winter now. This is transition period. Right now it's tough because we're going from a summer pattern to a fall pattern. So you've gotta work. They're not stacked up good yet, but the ones you catch are gonna be dandy fish like that. What I was saying is I had probably made 20 flips into that same area, never got a bump. Kept adjusting, kept adjusting, and now I went super deep. That fish has to be laying on the bottom here. And that is a beautiful, beautiful fish to get us going on these aluminum lifts. Folks, what we did is we went really deep. We, uh, we're starting out in the middle of the day, which is not a good time here on St. Mary's normally. And that sun is warm still, and it's drove those fish down. I'm fishing probably four foot deep, and we're in probably five foot of water here. And even that fish, he didn't hit it hard. The bites I've got today are super, super light. And that one was the same way. Just barely move that cork. And that's why when you're fishing with these corks, you wanna have one just big enough to hold up whatever size lead head you're using. That way, if the fish barely bumps that, you're gonna see the slightest movement. And what we tell folks to do on guide trips is if you see anything other than that cork standing perfectly up natural, set the hook. You know, folks, a lot of times I'll do seminars in the uh, winter months, and we talk specifically about fishing aluminum. And I don't know what it is, but whether it's a pontoon boat next to a wooden dock or these aluminum lifts next to a wooden dock, if I was in a tournament, pulled up to this area, and I only had a couple minutes left and I could only fish one, aluminum or wood, 90% of the time I'm gonna fish at aluminum. I don't know what it is this time of year that holds the fish better. I know in the spring, you've got cold fronts coming in and out 
and a lot of times that sun radiates down on the uh, the aluminum. If you would take a thermometer and put it in the water real close to the aluminum, now this is just surface temperature, but it could be one to two degrees warmer than the water that's say, you know, just four or five foot away from that. And that doesn't se seem like a big difference, but it is to those fish, especially when you've got those cold fronts coming in and out. There we go. That's another good fish, folks. All the way down. That's about a Probably 11 inch black there. And again, that's three fish now in a short period of time after we were struggling just to get a bite. Very healthy fish right now in St. Mary's. It's good to see this because we went through some rough years, but we're getting very, very good quality crappie now. Nice fish. We're gonna go ahead and turn him back. PSG Automotive Outfitters, Midwest Ohio's largest truck accessory retailer. Automotive parts and accessories of all kinds, featuring WeatherTech floor liners, Mickey Thompson wheels and tires, ARE truck caps, and rigid lighting. Want the latest in trend-setting truck looks? At PSG, we install suspension lifts, wheel and tire packages, fender flares, and heavy-duty front and rear bumpers. Campers, you'll find hitches, towing accessories, and suspension upgrades. Contractors, browse our full line of WeatherGuard toolboxes and ladder racks. Online at psgautomotive.com. Looking for the best baits and lures on the market? Look no further than SouthernPro.com. Southern Pro baits are handmade from the hook to the finished product by American workers in the USA. And our colors are mixed by our very own master craftsmen. At Southern Pro, our focus is fulfilling the desires of our fellow fishermen. Tube and solid plastics, bass tubes and lures, ice fishing tackle. Southern Pro has what you need. Visit our online store at SouthernPro.com to find everything that you're looking for to bring in your next limit of fish. Want more trucks for less bucks? Buckeye Ford is your truck headquarters. Work or play, we have the truck for you. F-150s, F-250s, F-350s, and F-450s. We know trucks, and you'll always get top dollar for your trade. Get the truck you need today for less bucks at Buckeye Ford and shop over 200 new Fords and tons of pre-owned cars and trucks 24-7 at BuckeyeFord.com. Remember, you'll find more trucks for less bucks at BuckeyeFord.com. More trucks, less bucks. BuckeyeFord.com. Not all lines are created equal. Gamma's molecularly altered fishing lines offer an unprecedented combination of flexibility, shock resistance, strength, abrasion resistance, and low memory. A line so unique it's patented. Gamma provides the angler with more accurate casts, natural presentations, and a greater fish fighting capability. Put your trust in Gamma Line. A line so good it is backed up by a money back guarantee. Visit GammaFishing.com. Do you ever struggle to quickly tie on hooks and jigs because the eye is too small, your hands are cold, or your eyesight just isn't what it used to be? Hi folks, I'm Russ Bailey of Brush Pile Fishing. My eyesight isn't what it used to be and I struggle to tie online to my jigs. That's why I'm pleased to announce the Tie Pro. Tie Pro is a simple, fast fishing tool to thread small eyelets, tie knots, and clip lines. It's that easy. Get yours today for only $14.99 at tiepro.com. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. Hey folks, I'm super excited that we're doing a show here on my home lake. You know, a couple years ago, this wouldn't have happened. The fishing had gotten so bad, and there's several reasons. Nationally known, we had an algae problem, um, and it did affect the fish, but also the fishing pressure when it was good was so high, and people were catching fish six inches, and I've seen them go in buckets. The state has finally put a size limit on the fish. They put a number that you can keep, and the fishing pressure went down with the problems we've had in the last couple of years, but it's actually allowed these fish to rejuvenate, and I'm telling you, this spring and now this fall, it has been absolutely fantastic, not just with the numbers, but the the size fish that we're getting. One thing I'm going to do, folks, before I leave this, we've caught uh, several fish on one color here. I'm just going to throw on one other color, throw it in there, and just see if something different will trigger one more bite for us. We'll do that 
that now. And this jig is pretty well ate up anyways. They have tore it up. The Greater Grand Lake region is not just a great place to catch crappie, it is a fun vacation destination for the whole family. Grand Lake St. Mary's is Ohio's largest inland lake with 13,500 acres. There's plenty of room for boating, fishing, tubing, and skiing. Enjoy bird watching or a picnic along the shores of this beautiful lake. There are more than a dozen restaurants, clubs, and bars with lake access for plenty of good food, fun, and entertainment. Grand Lake St. Mary's also boasts two dog parks, three lighthouses, seven marinas, nine public launch ramps, and numerous campgrounds, cottages, and hotels. While in the area, explore the Armstrong Air and Space Museum, step back in time at historic Fort Recovery, take a ride down memory lane at the Bicycle Museum, appreciate the peace and beauty of the Maria Stein Relic Shrine, or take a stroll along the Miami Erie Canal. The region also boasts plenty of hiking and biking paths, great restaurants, and fun and unique shopping. To get more information on visiting West Ohio's Greater Grand Lake region, check out seamore.org. There we go. Oh, there's a nice fish. That is a dandy, folks. If I can get him in, that is an absolute dandy. Whoo! That is a nice fish. And what I did, folks, I went to a, just a little color change. I went to a pearl color. And with this sunlight, those little speckles can drive a fish crazy. That is a nice one to get us started on the second lift this today. One of the things you see, I don't want to spook these fish. That is a nice crappie. Beautiful color. After I caught the first fish here, there were several flips I made in here where I didn't even get bit. A lot of folks, I think, would have left at that point. You just got to stay with it. Normally, even though they're not grouped real well, if there's one there, there's at least a couple. And it may just take some repetition to get them to hit, especially when you know the bite's tough going into it. We talked about those tough days, you know, practicing just like sports with those tough days. That's when you really have to figure out what it's going to take to get those fish to hit. And that's what, you know, anyone can go during the spring when those fish are in shallow and anyone can pop them. But it's days like today where you really start to learn a few things about the crappie and how bite can be and what you can do to get them to bite. There we go, oh, yeah. Nicer fish, definitely a nicer fish. Again, the bite shuts down. We just adjust a little bit, making a color change, depth change, and another fish. Nice fish, another black crappie. Great for the table right there, folks. There we go. Took about three tries to get that one. That's a nice fish. Super, super finicky bite there. Another good one for the table, folks. Pretty fish. Took me a couple tries to get it because the, the bite was just so light. These are the days, a lot of times I won't start out using scent, but on this tough and finicky bite, this is the type of day that I would use scent. Something like the, the brush pile formula, you put that on, it'll not only increase the amount of hits you get, but the hits you get will be a little bit stronger too. They'll want to hold on and you'll see that a little bit better. These are the days you want to use it. There we go. Woo -hoo! He was jumping. Another nice fish. Thought he was a smallmouth. Boy, he is chunky. And he engulfed that thing. Another nice crappie, folks. Good cleaner size right there. About 11 inch fish, nice and thick. Good back. We'll put him back. Innovation, it's all around us. NK Telco developed a fiber network in our communities over 10 years ago when the competitors were only thinking about it. Increasing bandwidth to make it convenient for the whole family to enjoy online entertainment and gaming. 
With our IPTV solution, you can enjoy over 80 HD channels, providing quality TV and movies for the whole family, and even take them on the go with our Watch TV Everywhere app. All this from a company that believes in local customer service from people you know and trust. NK Telco, providing services that bring value to your everyday life. Want more trucks for less bucks? Buckeye Ford is your truck headquarters. Work or play, we have the truck for you. F-150s, F-250s, F-350s, and F-450s. We know trucks, and you'll always get top dollar for your trade. Get the truck you need today for less bucks at Buckeye Ford and shop over 200 new Fords and tons of pre-owned cars and trucks 24-7 at BuckeyeFord.com. Remember, you'll find more trucks for less bucks at BuckeyeFord.com. More trucks, less bucks. BuckeyeFord.com. Looking for the best baits and lures on the market? Look no further than SouthernPro.com. Southern Pro baits are handmade from the hook to the finished product by American workers in the USA. And our colors are mixed by our very own master craftsmen. At Southern Pro, our focus is fulfilling the desires of our fellow fishermen. Tube and solid plastics, bass tubes and lures, ice fishing tackle. Southern Pro has what you need. Visit our online store at SouthernPro.com to find everything that you're looking for to bring in your next limit of fish. Since 1963, Power and Tell has been a market leader in the procurement, sales, and distribution of communications products. We partner with top manufacturers to carry and deliver the inventory you need for the efficient completion of your everyday and project work. Our portfolio of industry best solutions includes products for broadband access, cable television, cellular backhaul, data centers, FTTX, home networking, IPTV, and much more. Hey folks, the style that we're fishing today is what I call the fall transition period. Those fish were in a summer pattern, but we've had some cooler nights, so they're starting to transition into the shallower waters and the cover that we like to fish in the fall. The thing is, they're not quite grouped up yet because the water temperatures are so high. So we can still have good outings, but there's a couple keys to this. One, we're going to have to slow down that presentation because they're going to be a little bit finicky. But also, especially if on shallow lakes, we get in the habit of always catching fish anywhere from 12 to 18 inches deep. And if we don't get them there, we just figure the fish aren't there. We're going to go deeper today, and it's hard for some people to do, but hopefully we show you how, and that's going to lead to a better fish pattern during this time of year. And there goes the cork. There we go. That's not a bad one there either. First flip on the new dock, he's got some fight. Oh yeah. Folks, when they set the drag, oh nice fish. When they set that drag off, pop the old tail off. There's another black crappie. Again, we showed you a white earlier. We have the spots, but no distinct lines here. So that's a black crappie. First flip on this new lift, outstanding. Let's get him back. Again, when you make these flips, try to get it exactly where you want the jig to go. And it just takes a little practice. You can get pretty good at it pretty quick. What I'm doing, we talked earlier about just working the outside edge, working that first, and then I'll work my way to the inside bars. While I'm working that outside, I want to throw up in the front also. That's an area a lot of folks will forget about, but sometimes that area between the lift and the wall can be the best spot. So you just wanna definitely give that a try before you leave a lift. What I'm doing now is fishing this kind of shallow, which is the normal here on this lake. Everyone fishes about a foot to 18 inches, but then I'm gonna go deeper if I don't get any hits, and that's some sometimes hard for people to do here because they're so used to fishing just one depth. But those fish will definitely go deeper even on a shallow body lake like this. Oh, that might not be a bad fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is a nice one. Folks, when you set the hook and the pole stops, that's a, that's a good feeling. Nice fish. Tell you what, these fish are very healthy here this year. Really nice and thick. 
Hey folks, right now I want to take a second and go over the equipment we're using. This is a really simple rig that we're using today. Uh, this is my signature series being in pole. It's a 10 and a half footer. Um, it's great for the kind of flipping that we're doing. Uh, I've got the Pro Series B&M spinning reel and six pound high-vis gamma line. And, I, and I, like we said in the show, I really like the high-vis line. It doesn't affect the bite at all, and it's something that's a lot easier to see. Um, as far as the cork we're using, this is a little ice cork. We'll peg that with a toothpick, and you want one just barely big enough to hold up whatever size jig head we're using, because you want to be able to see that slightest bite. Now, as far as the jig head, I've got a 1 48th ounce called a minnow head. Uh, it's unpainted, it's just a regular lead color. And the bait of the day, the plastic, is a Southern Pro Stinger Shad. Pretty simple rig, but it's deadly on this technique. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. Not all lines are created equal. Gamma's molecularly altered fishing lines offer an unprecedented combination of flexibility, shock resistance, strength, abrasion resistance, and low memory. A line so unique it's patented. Gamma provides the angler with more accurate casts, natural presentations, and a greater fish fighting capability. Put your trust in Gamma Line. A line so good it is backed up by a money back guarantee. Visit GammaFishing.com. Do you ever struggle to quickly tie on hooks and jigs because the eye is too small, your hands are cold, or your eyesight just isn't what it used to be? Hi folks, I'm Russ Bailey of Brush Pile Fishing. My eyesight isn't what it used to be and I struggle to tie online to my jigs. That's why I'm pleased to announce the Tie Pro. Tie Pro is a simple, fast fishing tool to thread small eyelets, tie knots, and clip line. It's that easy. Get yours today for only $14.99 at tiepro.com. Innovation, it's all around us. NK Telco developed a fiber network in our communities over 10 years ago when the competitors were only thinking about it. Increasing bandwidth to make it convenient for the whole family to enjoy online entertainment and gaming. With our IPTV solution, you can enjoy over 80 HD channels, providing quality TV and movies for the whole family, and even take them on the go with our Watch TV Everywhere app. All this from a company that believes in local customer service from people you know and trust. NK Telco, providing services that bring value to your everyday life. This episode of Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by Southern Pro Tackle, BNM Poles, Gamma Fishing Line, Driftmaster Rod Holders, Ego Nets, Tie Pro Tying Tools, Buckeye Ford and brush pile fish attractants. I'm gonna go real deep. There we go. Not a bad one. Come here. Come here. Oh yeah, that's a big old chunker. Folks, that one sort of looks like my belly. Nice fish. Folks, I don't know if you've seen, but that hook was right in the top part of his mouth. I want to talk a little bit about something on hook set. Uh, a lot of times you hear the crappie are called the paper mouth or whatever, and so you'll see guys want to set the hook just nice and soft. If you're live baiting with just a minnow hook, maybe it's a little bit different. But when I'm jig fishing, a lot of people, uh, they'll comment that it looks like I'm bass fishing because on that initial hook set, I set that hook hard. What that does, that'll drive that jig head right up to the top part of the crappie's mouth, and that's the hardest part of their mouth. If you get a good hook set in there, that jig's not gonna go nowhere and you're gonna land that fish. This is the uh, signature series pole that I've got from B&M. I designed this, it's a 10 and a half foot, and the way I designed it, when I set that initial hook set, it'll drive it up and then let the drag system with your reel do the rest. You're not gonna lose fish by setting that hook hard. And that is another real, real nice quality crappie. 
Folks, this lift's a little bit smaller than a lot of them on the lake. And this is another one that folks might want to tend to overlook, but these small lifts are just as good. And I'm not sure what it is with the aluminum. I don't know if uh, just that added heat can bring those fish in, but I'm telling you, a lot of times they'll outfish the wooden docks right beside them. There we go. Ooh. Oh, he's got me that rail. Shoot. And I've lost him. Doggone it. The folks, that last fish I missed felt like a pretty decent fish. I'd made several casts up in there. This lift, a lot of that's out of the water. I don't think it's holding a lot of fish, but I'm hoping that the ones are there are grouped by size and pretty big. So what I'm gonna do is hit another one, let that settle down for just a minute, then I'm gonna circle back and try to get it, uh, another fish off of it. Folks, that noise you hear is my talon going into the water. And we'll talk a little bit about that later, but I'll tell you what, for fish in shallow water, that thing is like gold. Really helps to anchor the boat. And then I don't have to fight if it's windy condition and the boat basically stays where I need it. That way I can concentrate on the cover. And there's a nice fish. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Look at there, look at there. Look at the belly on that fish again. Another dandy. That's about a 13 inch crappie there, folks. Beautiful, and these fish are healthy right now on Grand Lake. I'll tell you what, they, uh, they've definitely made a comeback, and this is the kind of quality fish you can see here at the lake now. Dynamite fish. Again, we talked about setting the hook, and when it stops, you know it's a good fish, and that's exactly what that did. Dynamite, mm. love it. Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show, and I hope you learned that even though we had some tough years in St. Mary's, it's back, the lake is producing giant crappie, and I had a ball today. Fall fishing, Grand Lake St. Mary's, give it a try. And you stay tuned, because we'll be back next week with Brush Pile Fishing.